Oh no. Should I just crash land it? I'm just crash landing it. Fuck it. Sydney is said to be smashed, the city bracing for gale force winds and dangerous surf. We are expecting to see gusts upwards of 90 to 100 kilometres. 10 metre waves are anticipated along our coast. I'm on my way to North Kirkhill. As you know, there's a monster swell happening at the moment, up to 6 to 10 foot or more. And I'm just in a rush to get there after work, right before sunset, and there's only about 20 minutes to go before sunset, so I'm really in a hurry to get there right now through the after school traffic. Gotta risk it for the biscuit, right? That's it. Honestly, my heart is pumping right now. Yeah. I, and I can't believe the Mavic can actually handle this wind. Like, this is nuts. That's like, really awesome. What do we think the wind speed is right now? Oh, oh. A wave almost engulfed my drone just then. That's nuts. Oh my god. Oh no. Should I just crash land it? I'm just crash landing it. Fuck it. Yeah. I'm just crash landing it. I'm just crash landing it. Just going in the bushes. I don't even care. Just get in the fucking bushes. What the hell was that? Holy shit! Holy shit! Is it alright? Dude, it still works! Bro, it still works. Oh my god, that had to be the scariest thing I have ever been a part of my whole entire life. I legit thought I lost my two and a half thousand dollar drone just then. Matt, how do you go? Mavic 2 is great. Mate, I'm honestly. Fucking How'd you go? It was mad, it was the biggest one I got and then I'm lucky I got the light as well but you guys is like, like Matt did a long exposure of the big swell like one second I don't know how the Mavic still stay up there What do you think Matt? I don't even know, like I'm still kind of in shock at how well that drone performed and I think we got some real nice shots oh, The Mavic is literally amazing I've never actually, I thought the Phantom would have been hold, like holding its own out here with all this wind but yeah, dude, that Mavic holds ass. It's actually insane how good that Mavic is in these high wind conditions. It's crazy. That was insanely windy. I, I'm like, and I can't believe how the drone was even able to take that wind. I'm like lost for words. So I'm gonna head home now, go to bed, wake up early to head to Avalon Beach where I'll try again for the big swell at sunrise. So we just did a morning shoot at Ooh. Avalon Beach and in the hope of getting uh, some surf and, and some swell, a second day of swell, but unfortunately it was a bit of a fizzer of a sunrise, the waves weren't as big as promised and it was kind of a bit messy, kind of, it was some of it's clean but most of it was kind of a bit onshorey. so I don't know, I don't count it as a successful morning per se, but it was good yeah, fun just sense. hanging out with friends and just flying our drones and seeing what we can get so next time catch you next time oh look at that light how's it going i got the shot i just flew the drone and i got the shot we were looking for didn't get it yesterday but we've come back look at this swell it's still here rogue wave. wave like seriously and yeah, i've run up here so <laughs> i'm tired but uh oh Look at that Whoa. glow. That glow is insane. Whoa. Yeah, it's nice. Really nice light right now. Well, that was it. I went pretty much prematurely. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs>
That is so sick. What? Oh, shit. It's sick. Oh, dude, we got to try it. It's, yeah. 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 Woo! We got a shot. How good. Guys, this is insane. Freaking level. You heard that right. We got the shot. Round three. After wind in the first night, dull sunrise this morning. And now we got the sun, we got the waves, we got, we got no wind, absolute perfect conditions, and I can't wait to show you. How's it going, Angus? Matt? <laughs> Good morning, Good we're back. Morning. Look at the corn. We've, uh, yeah, there's a body surfing comp happening this morning and uh, the surf's a little bit smaller than yesterday, but it's still not bad. But yeah, we're gonna get some good shots, I think. Cool. Should be good. What an incredible couple of days that was. Just shooting with friends during morning and night as well in two different locations, varying weather conditions. I had the best time. So I'm back at home and I'm ready to show you some of these shots that I've taken. First of all, as you can see, the North Curl Curl top-down pull shot during the high winds. And I have to say, this Mavic 2 is able to take intense wind conditions. I'm absolutely blown away, no pun intended, as to how much this is able to take it. Compared to my friend Charlie, his Phantom blew away. This baby was able to stay intact and able to handle it. Anyway, as you can see in the first shot, there was, you can see there's a wave crashing over the pool, but with the lack of sunlight, it was relatively moody and kind of dull and I was trying to really bring more oomph to the image, but I wasn't able to. You really need that sunlight to be able to really bring more life to an image. The next shot was taken in North Curl, Curl the afternoon after where I had the sun, where I didn't have the wind, I still had the high swells and let me just show you what I did in my edit really quickly. So as you can see, I did some basic adjustments to the exposure and highlights, then I applied some tone curve changes, and as you can see, the whitewash is a little bit overexposed, so I just did, low, did a brush adjustment to try to take out the harshness and show more detail. Then I applied brush adjustments to the ocean, so that I can apply a different color to the ocean right, to make it a bit more interesting. Then after that, I did a gradient filter over the pool to show that dark to light kind of effect, and after that, I applied another brush adjustment to the lighter half of the pool to just get rid of that disgusting green color that you can see when you take drone shots of the pool. Then after that, I applied a 4x5 crop because that's what you need for Instagram. And I applied some vignettes and another gradient filter on the right-hand side to bring more light and a gradient filter to the left-hand side to bring more light as if it was like showing the sun, mimic it's like mimicking the sun coming through. And finally, I did just, just some light touches to everything else just to clean up the image and that's that. I know I sped up this, <laughs> this edit a lot, but if you are interested in seeing a tutorial in terms of how I made this edit really slowly, step by step, let me know in the comments below and I'll be able to put something together for you. Now, when it comes to the Avalon surf shots, Unfortunately, I haven't been able to take anything. I looked at the footage and I wasn't really happy with the photos that I've come up with. I'm really enjoying making these videos, to be honest, and I hope you really enjoy watching them as well. And I hope that you walk away with, with some knowledge. I hope you walk away learning something from me. And that's my intent of this video, to be able to show you what I go through in terms of my videos and how I edit them as well, and to be able to share some knowledge in terms of what I know. If there is any other videos you want me to make, let me know in the comments below as well. I really appreciate your feedback because I can come up with as many ideas as I can, but ultimately it's what you guys want to see from me that, and I'll make these videos happen. Anyway, 
it's time for me to head out for lunch. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.